this is the Golden Pan. I'm here with my friends Susan and Rick, and today we're making my favorite thing in the world, carrot cake. It's not really that good for you, actually. Um, in this recipe, we have some coconut flakes, carrots, of course, flour, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, there's pineapple in this recipe, crushed pineapple, eggs, some lemon, some uh, orange zest, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and of course the main ingredient, shredded carrots. You have to make sure oil. And of course, like Greta said, there's oil. <laughs> so these are all our ingredients. It's a very easy recipe. It's just a little time consuming. I think the most time consuming part of this recipe is shredding the carrots, but my friend Rick already did that for us today. Um, we'll show you how the process begins. The first thing you have to do is get your pans ready and preheat the oven. The oven goes on 350. Um, you can spray the pans with cooking oil, but I like to butter them. Some people like to flour them too, but if you put enough butter on them, you don't really have to do that. So there is our cake pans. Um, and that's the first step. The next thing that I like to do is peel the carrots, and Susan's going to show us how you do that with a potato peeler and the carrot. Go ahead, Susan. She's had all morning to practice. <laughs> Wowie. Good thing. There you go. You can do it right into the trash. Yep. We don't want to put it in our cake no. pans. No, but you just want to take off the outside layer of the carrots because it's tough and it being cake, you don't want tough pieces of carrot in your carrot cake because that's not good. Right, Greta? Right. Every country's got a different taste, but look. All right, perfect job. Thank you. Thank you. So you want to make sure you cut the ends off because you don't want those in your carrot cake either. And Rick is going to show us how we shredded those beautiful carrots perfectly. I like finely shredded carrots in my carrot cake. I don't like it too coarse. Up and down. Watch your fingers, because we don't want pieces of your fingers in the carrot cake either. <laughs> All right, nice job. Yep, thank you. All right, so we got our pans ready, we got our oven preheated. And this is a recipe that I found on Pinterest. I love Pinterest and I like to try different recipes. I've made probably three different carrot cakes off of Pinterest, but this one is my favorite. It's called um, just regular carrot cake, but when I Googled, when I um, searched it on Pinterest, I put best carrot cake ever, and this was the recipe that I think is the best carrot cake ever. So thank you for that. All right, so in a large bowl, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix the flour, the sugar, the brown sugar, the baking soda, the baking powder, and the salt, and all the spices. So this calls for two cups of flour. Some flour. We're going to put a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. sugar. You want to put that in there? And then there's a lot of sugar in this recipe. There's one and a half cups of sugar. So when you think about eating carrot cake and you think maybe it's good for you, well, maybe it's not. But it is delicious. It is. All right, and then our baking soda, we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of baking soda in there. There's one. And I'm going to use this little quarter. Two of those will equal a half, right, Rick? Right. Unfortunately, some of my utensils go grow legs and walk away. Yeah, apparently. Um, and then a teaspoon of salt. Susan, you want to do the salt? 
Okay. That's a whole tea with one whole teaspoon of salt in there. Lots of cinnamon. Love cinnamon. I do too. Yeah. Do you ever mix cinnamon with sugar and put it on toast? <coughs> oh yeah. A little more, fill it to the top. Yep, you okay. want to make sure it's filled to the top. There you go. Oop, all right. Good. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, we need four teaspoons of cinnamon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, not like cinnamon and sugar put, on on toast. Put the, the, the spoon in. Yeah, put the spoon in it. Oh. Like that. Oh, okay. See, I told you I'd been done doing this. It's okay. Right. This is good. <laughs> this is good fun for you then. Okay, so I just need one spoonful of this. Yeah, grab a spoonful okay. from there. That's a little full. Kind of shake it in there so you can get. There you go. Level it off. Perfect. Dump it in there. You need two more of those. Yep. Now the next one, don't fill it quite as as much. Perfect. Okay. Lots of cinnamon. Yep. All right. And now we need some nutmeg. A quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and that is. There, but right here, Frank, you can do that. All right. Oh, just smells. Just one. Yep, and then you're gonna do an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, but we don't have an eighth of a teaspoon, so it's half of that. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. recipe is mixing all the wet ingredients together. There you go. Made it work. I didn't know. I knew when they had it on. Do you want to help Greta? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want, you could crack the eggs. Okay. Hold on. Let me give you something to crack them into. You can put them in this bowl. All right, so we're going to take the, the carrots next. We need two cups of finely grated carrots. We peeled them, grated them. I should grate some more, Rick, because yeah. that's only one cup. I need another cup. All right, I'll yeah. take care of that. Thank you. Very good. We're also going to add sweetened coconut. Yummy. And we use a whole cup of co coconut. Um, so we also have some crushed pineapple. I just get it in a little can here. And I strained it. You want to keep some of the juice from that pineapple. And you're going to use the whole can, eight ounces of crushed pineapple. That's what makes this cake so very moist, is the pineapple, you use the pineapple juice. There's a little bit of orange zest in there. Just a great cake recipe. All right, so we're gonna put a cup of sweetened coconut in there. Coconut is so good for you. Not in this recipe though, because it's covered in sugar. All right, we're also going to put some vegetable oil, a cup of vegetable oil. That's a lot of vegetable oil. It's going to be really moist, really moist. It's going to be a very moist cake. That's yeah. why I love this cake. I made it for my daughter's birthday. I like pudding. I like pudding. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yep, we just need a cup. So here, let's oh, see. Okay. Fill her up. Fill her up. Then you can put it right in this bowl. Well, maybe just a little bit more. Looks like they did pretty well. Right? Oh, Maybe there's pineapple in there. Who wants to mix it? I'll mix it. You want to mix it, Greta? Great, right, Greta. I'm going to add the eggs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mix that up really good. We're also going to add some vanilla. Oh, I love vanilla. Vanilla extract. That's what I used to I just love to smell it. How much vanilla do we put in there? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of vanilla in this recipe. All right, and then the la and last but not least, you don't need to mix it up too much, Frida, is lemon, uh, not lemon zest, but orange zest. Orange zest is the orange peel of the orange. And this recipe calls for how much orange zest? One teaspoon. So it's not a lot. It only takes a few minutes to do. And you want it to be very fine. And this is what it looks like. So we need a teaspoon of that. The other thing that we're going to put in this is some of the pineapple juice that we saved because we strained our pineapple. We put eight ounces in there. I don't know how anybody could not like carrot cake. It's my, it's my favorite. <laughs> like. So there's our orange zest. We're going to put that in there. And we're going to put some of the pineapple juice, a teaspoon of the pineapple juice. I always add a little bit more, so yeah. two teaspoons. All right, we're just going to mix that up nice. And then the next step is we're going to mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And then we're almost ready to bake. How fun is that? Put the whole thing in. Um, we're gonna we're gonna mix part of it at a time, okay. so we're not gonna put it all in at once. Um, go ahead, you can do it, Rita. There you go. Do you want to mix it, Rick? Yes. Go ahead. That's good, Rita. So we have everything. I always look at the recipe afterwards to make sure we have everything in there. Um, you can also add raisins to this recipe if you like. I don't like raisins, so they're not going in there. Um, you can put nuts in there, either walnuts or pecans. Go ahead, Greedy, go put some more in. Um, but some people are allergic to nuts, so I'm not going to add nuts to it at this time. Go ahead, Yep. Nice job. It might be easier to, to mix with Maybe this with one. Maybe with that. Yeah. Because you just kind of want to fold it in. You don't fold it in. There you go. Much better. I'm going to use that good for I know. You just kind of, when you're stirring it, Rick, yep. you kind of just like just fold it in. You're like, and you don't want to over mix it. but you don't really have to. That would be quick. Wow. All right, we're good. Look at that. Look at how nice and dark nice that and is. It is. Yes. yes. And it's that way because of the spices we put in there. We're going to do half and half. We're going to put half in one pan and half in the other. A 
I mean, think about how wonderful this would have been if we could have put nuts in it. And I like both pecans and walnuts, but my favorite in this recipe is pecans. I like or pecans. <laughs> Bake for 25 to 30 minutes for cupcakes, but 35 to 40 minutes for 9-inch layer cakes, which are these. So let's get these in the oven right away because we're going to make frosting. Oh, good. You got it? Yeah. The oven's so already we're set. We're going to put it in the middle. All right. Middle rack. Yep, in the middle rack. Right here. Perfect. Careful. It's hot. We get to taste it. Yep, when it's all done. I'll okay. send it on the rocks. All right, so 35 minutes, we'll check it. All right, so I'm going to make this fabulous cream cheese frosting for the carrot cake because you have to have cream cheese frosting on carrot cake. And this is just something I kind of threw together one day when I was making carrot cake for my daughter. So I used a stick of butter and a whole package of cream cheese. And I just started whipping it. Oops. And it's gotta be soft in room temperature, because if it's not soft, it won't work. And if you're in a rush, you can always put it in the microwave for a few seconds to make it a little softer. I put in a whole package of softened cream cheese and a stick of butter, and now I'm just gonna let this whip for a while. And we'll just let it really, really Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it real good. Whip that whip. What are you doing? Singing is not my thing, Mary. <laughs> Sing and cook. Sing and cook. Uh, yeah. You're whipping it. I'm whipping the cream cheese and the butter together. And I'm just going to let this whip for a while. That's to be nice and creamy. Mixed well together. Every once in a while, I'll stop it and scrape it down. Scrape it down. Scrape it down. That's all this is, is butter and cream cheese? Right now, it's just yeah. butter and cream cheese. I'm going to add a little vanilla, and this is kind of my own little okay. recipe, so I just put like a little dash of vanilla in there. Maybe, maybe that was like a half a teaspoon. Maybe even a little, a little less than that. Real stuff. The real vanilla? The real vanilla real extract. Vanilla. Pure vanilla oh, wow. extract. Yeah. It's been whipping for a little while. It's nice and creamy. And this is 10x sugar or confection sugar. I'm just going to just start adding a little bit at a time until I get the consistency that I want. Scrape down the bowl. Sometimes it doesn't mix that well at the bottom. So basically, I'm alternating. I'm alternating half and half, or you can use heavy whipping cream, which will make it very light and fluffy, which that's what I did the last time. Unfortunately, I didn't have any, so. Or you can use milk. Frosting is so easy to make. You know, it's basically butter, um, confection sugar, a little vanilla. Could you use condensed milk? You could use condensed milk. You basically just need, it's, it's basically milk and sugar, depending on whatever milk you want to use. But um, if you use a whipping cream, it just gets very light and very fluffy, and it's a lighter frosting. 
whereas this is more closer to buttercream than it is like a whipped cream frosting. All right, our, our cakes are done. They're ready to come out of the oven. Oh, doesn't it smell good in here? It sure does. Oh, it smells great. Yeah. So I'm going to take them out. I'm going to put them on the sheet pan because I really want them to cool off fast so we can frost them because I'm in a rush. I'm going to a party. They're perfect. Perfect carrot cake. I just put them in the fridge. They're going to cool there because I want to be able to frost them before Mike leaves. All right, this frosting has been whipping for a little bit. Um, if you wanted it to be lighter, a fluffier whipping cream, but if not, you can use regular half and half or milk. Um, so it's ready to go. And as soon as our cakes are cooled, we can frost them. This beautiful cream cheese frosting. Mm. Looks like it's going to be wicked. Okay. Oh, oh my. Mm. Let's so talk good. about yummy cream cheese. Oh yeah. Cheese. Definitely. Mm. I just pulled my cakes out of the refrigerator. Look how nice they look. Oh, they're ready. Aren't they? Yeah. So now we're going to frost them. Okay. There's our beautiful frosting. Yeah. Some people use a spatula or a butter knife to frost them. But I like to just use the, the rubber <coughs> scraper. Oh yeah. So I'm going to put a nice big dollop on there. Just spread it all around like that. You don't have to be too picky when it's in the middle of the cake. And I'm going to put this one on top. Oh, it doesn't stick to the plate. And it didn't. Look how beautiful that is. So I want it to be kind of even, so this part looks a little bigger. And you can also even it out by slicing it with a nice big serrated edge knife so that it's perfect, or you can always make it even by using just the frosting. It's always good to put a lot of frosting on and just push it out to the edges when you're frosting the cake. You want it to almost go over the edge of the cake because whatever you use, you push off the edge, that's what you're going to use to frost the sides of it. And this is when I would use a butter knife or a spatula. So then you just use your knife and see how you have so much frosting on the edge, you could just work it down. What a beautiful cake! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too bad they all don't come out like that. And that would be a perfect world, wouldn't it? <laughs> that is beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Not a frosting lover, but I would like to eat that. Frosting. Oh, this frosting is so it's good, Mary. It's my favorite frosting. Can I smell some? Of course you can. I'm watching it. Yeah, you can. Or touch it. Do that. <laughs> now, if I was a professional cake decorator, I would have one of those things that you put the cake on that spins around. I don't know what it's called, but it just makes frosting so much easier. A carousel. Oh, it could be called a carousel, Greta. I don't know. It does tend to know. I've been out of the cake decorating field since high school, so that's a long time ago. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. good? All right, so yeah. there's my frosted carrot cake. Yes. I'm gonna garnish it a little with oops, carrots. Um, coconut. I'm gonna just take a little of this 
coconut that I have left over, and I'm just going to dab it on the edges. Mm, like that much. Just to kind of make it look pretty. Dress it up a little because we're going to a party. Actually, when, we're not taking this cake to a party because Greta will, will kill me. <laughs> she wants to try it. I like that thing. That's right. That's so, cake over yesterday. That went real quick, didn't it? And right. that way, if you make a little mess on the, um, on the edge of the plate, you kind of cover it up with the coconut so you don't really see it. So, there you go. And, mm -hmm. I'm just wash my hands because I'm going to try to put a little garnish it with a carrot, frosted carrot on the top, ready for Easter. <laughs> I don't have a, um, a bag, so I made this little pastry bag out of um, just a little piece of wax paper for serving cookies with, so hopefully it will be strong enough. So there's our little nice carrot cake. Yeah. Came out perfect. You got it, Rita. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, oh, that is just like the picture. Oh yeah. Nailed it. Nice. Nailed it. Wow. How many times have you seen something on Pinterest and you're like, oh, it didn't come out the way I it looked on Pinterest. This is perfect. Our carrot cake came out fabulous. Even the cameraman liked it, and he doesn't like carrot cake. <laughs> and neither does Even Matt. I don't like carrot cake. So, this gold really star good. for us, right, Susan? Uh huh. All right, well, thank you, and until next time, we'll see you in the golden pan. <laughs> Bye. Bye.